we promised it to you. We are going to tell you how to survive the Super Bowl. David Foreman is the herbal pharmacist. He has a girl's guide to surviving it all. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's awesome, man. This is... Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's, I don't care about the rain. I, I, everybody should come out no matter what. I Seriously. know. See, you were talking Already about on. that too. <laughs> and we have the band in the background yeah. right now. And we've been kind of moving and grooving exactly. and just having fun. And I've seen a lot of people. Exactly. I'm trying to get you to have a cocktail with me here. I know. <laughs> and I said, wait, wait, that wait. That sounds wrong, I know. Not but, yet. Not yet. Yeah. But you know what? Let's start with, you have all this, you know, pizza and food and drinks. And mm -hmm. um, for people who really want to enjoy the Super Bowl, can you overindulge for one day? Is it going to, you know, really hurt everybody? everything i encourage it really yeah i mean it's a it's a huge national it should be a national holiday as far as i'm concerned so why not enjoy it yeah i'm then you know a naturopathic doctor a pharmacist and i tell people to eat healthy and all that stuff but to be honest super bowl go for it all right and, and don't don't feel bad about it but hey. there's certain things we can do to mitigate some of the negative effects and that's why i'm here like yeah. all right we can cheat for a day maybe two some people are gonna you know the phoenix opens here too yeah so. that's true so maybe you know saturday, saturday and, and sunday, sunday right so we're, let's talk about like the consumption of alcohol would that be cool? okay let's start with that yeah. okay so um a lot of people <laughs> might be having um some libation some beer some wine so how can we enjoy ourselves without just going too far without feeling like yuck in the morning well other than the typical thing that people say of staying hydrated drinking plenty of water there's an herb called milk thistle milk thistle supports the liver the reason you have those body aches and headache the next day partly is due to dehydration but the other part is your liver is just not dealing well with the toxins that is alcohol milk thistle. milk thistle and as a matter of fact i'd start taking it today really is it, yeah, it's gonna, yeah no seriously it's something i take on a regular basis just to support okay. the liver it's the it's the main organ that filters out all the really nasty toxins and that's so going to help you feel better it's going to help prevent you from feeling bad, bad okay the next I, day. Right. i love Perf it that is a great thing milk thistle you see it right there okay Chips, salsa, guacamole, pizza, uh, pizza, all the starchy stuff, right? You got right. potato skins and the wings, and it's what we love on right. Super Bowl Sunday. Amen. But um, how do we indulge there a little bit without kind of, you know, really affecting our body, our weight, and everything else? Every woman listening now is going to love me after they hear this. There's, okay. There's hey. an, there's an, yeah, no, right. There's an ingredient called phase two. It comes from white kidney beans. And so I, that's what this blue bottle is here. But phase two is a starch blocker. So you can consume, like the average American. What is that? Is that this? That's, that's that. Yeah, it's okay. called phase two. That's the name of the ingredient. So you go to your local health food store pharmacy. That's what you're looking for, the phase ingredient, right? Phase two. Okay. Phase two will block up to two-thirds of the caloric effect of the starches in your meal. So the average American consumes 3,000 calories on Super Bowl Sunday. If all 3,000 of those are chips and pizza and all the starchy things, you, you now went from 3,000 down to 1,000 because you'd used your phase two. Really? Yes. And that really works? It really works. There's a ton of science behind it. It's not right. just some airy fairy thing that I made up. It's legit. Okay. Uh, overeat. I know we're running out of time, I think. So yeah. uh, you, you overeat. Digestive enzymes, you know, uh, help break down the protein and fat in those foods that you're overconsuming. It'll work immediately for de-bloating you. Okay. That's so that's going to make you, you can put your jeans on after that. <laughs> right. That's important. And what's yeah. the final tip that you have for it? If you have a headache, there's an herb called Feverfew. I literally use it as my herbal headache remedy. Uh, it's been used in Germany for uh, centuries for uh, getting rid of headaches, and it works pretty quick, whereas most things in natural medicine take a little while to work. When you say quick, um, how quick are we talking about? 30 to 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, so normally, you know, the over-the-counter painkillers, people take tablets. It takes about 45 minutes to work. Well, uh -huh. Feverfew works the same way. And where can we get all of this stuff that you were talking about? To any health food store? Pretty much everything I have here is a would be a mainstream health food store. Uh, some pharmacies might carry if they're a little more, uh, you know, up to date in what's going on in the world. All so. right. All right. Well, I can't indulge yet, but you can have this. Um, <laughs> My favorite. I love I'm it. I'm going to get these wings. They're all edible. They were, they were kept stable. <laughs> well, you promised that I could have it. So we're going to kick this off right now. And everybody, for more information, all you have to do is go online. It's very simple. You got a website, right? Yep. You can look it up and kind of go over everything we talked about today. Again, it's going to be right there on your screen. It's herbalpharmacist.com. Right.